hi guys welcome today we will take a look at uh, another feature of the pwm that is controlling the servo motor so i'm just going to control a servo motor with the help of pwm and uh, let's start programming first of all go to my pc and open the c directory here we have extracted over an rf sdk go into the examples folder and then go into the peripheral from here copy the pwm and go back go into my projects paste it here and let's rename it as open this folder go into the pc of 10040 because we are using an rf52832 open the blank go into the ses folder open the em project file let's remove some of the code okay we are good to go make sure if you look into the CMC's configuration make sure you have these drivers timers and PPI and uh, we are good to go and uh, of course we need to include this uh, header file otherwise it's not going to work so first of all let's create the PWM instance if you are directly seeing this tutorial just watch my previous tutorial to see how PWM timers library work. Let's name it as PWM1 and uh, it's going to use the timer1. Now let's go into the main code and uh, let's define a pin for servo. So I'm just going to connect it with the pin 4. Okay, we are good to go with this. Now we need to create the configurations and we are going to initialize it with the default configurations so and I'm going to use one channel and uh, for the servos uh, the period is different for each servo so be sure you check the data sheet and uh, set the time period according to that okay so now we need to give it the time period so I'm setting the time period to 20,000 which is equal to 20 milliseconds and uh, I have to mention the pin so the pin is going to be the servo pin and I also I have to set the polarity now we need to initialize the PWM so Pass the handle, pass the configurations, and uh, we're not going to use any interrupt handler, so I'm just going to pass it now. Now we need to enable the PWM, so. Okay, we are good to go with the settings, and now I'm just going to drive the motor uh, from 0 to 180 and 180 to back to 0, so I'm just going to pass the values you can change these values uh, accordingly some of the motors some of the servo motors need uh, different values so you can adjust these values as accordingly it's just a simple test so these values work great with my servo motor channel is zero and uh, here we have to pass the value which is going to be the loop value i and let's see if it's not busy let's give some delay and once it goes to the higher value then uh, I want it to come back to the low value so I'm just going to use another for loop and I'm going to use the same function okay we are good to go with this uh, all the code is set and uh, let's build it to see if everything is okay okay we are good to go I put the comma here by mistake so okay we are good to go and it's built okay the code is built and uh, first of all I need uh, first of all we need to make sure that uh, 
the servo is connected so I'm just gonna connect my servo this uh, small servo is using 5 volts so make sure the uh, it's uh, make sure it's connected with the 5 volts the red pin goes to 5 volts and the brown pin is the ground pin and uh, this orange pin or sometimes the yellow is going to be the PWM pin and uh, I'm going to connect it with the pin 4 okay we are ready and we are good to go with this make sure your device is connected click on the connect erase all and download it okay. and here you can see the motor is moving according to the values I'm giving it uh, and I'm setting these values by setting the duty cycle and you can see the motor is working okay that's it for today I hope so you have learned something new today and uh, this code along with the information of the functions is available for download in the description of this video and if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button if you like this video and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and uh, thank you very much for watching see you in the next video